Hi guys, welcome to Asian Delights Kitchen. Last week I made a video about how to make authentic Chinese sausage egg fry rice along with techniques using overnight steam rice. Today I'm going to share another chicken and egg fry rice recipe made with the same day steam rice. All the ingredients are also easy to find from most grocery stores. You may switch chicken to another kind of meat for protein or tofu for a vegetarian option. For more detailed techniques about authentic Chinese fried rice and how to use a wok, please check out my Chinese sausage and egg fried rice video. I will list the link down below. I used to make this for work potluck and it's everyone's big time favorite. It's best to have everything ready before we start because the progress is ticking very quickly and the wok is heating up fast. We are cooking with steamed rice that I made the same day after a few hours of air dried. For each serving, I used one cup of steamed rice. We are making two servings today. Today I am using 3 4 pounds of chicken tenderloin. Slice the chicken to about 3 mm thick. Marinate with 2 teaspoons of soy sauce or 1 teaspoon of salt. 1 teaspoon of chicken powder. Half teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of white or black pepper. Mix well. Then coat with one teaspoon of tapioca powder or cornstarch, and one fourth teaspoon of sesame oil to seal the flavor. Set aside while we preparing other ingredients. Pour half cup frozen mixed vegetables into a small bowl, then soak with water for five minutes, and then rinse. Prepare some garlic and green onions. Separate the white part from the green part. Crack two eggs into a bowl and beat well. Heat the wok until piping hot. Turn to low heat. Add in one tablespoon of peanut oil or canola oil. Spread around the wok. This is a basic technique called long yao. What it does is to create a non-stick surface to the wok. Gently add in the eggs. Move the wok around to spread the eggs. Flip or stir the eggs for 10 seconds. With the remaining heat from the wok, the eggs will be cooked to 80% in 20 seconds. Set them aside. Add in vegetables. Stir fry for about 1 minute. Sprinkle water in the wok 3 times. And cook till softened. Heat the wok to piping hot again then turn to low heat. Add in 1 tablespoon of peanut oil or canola oil. Spread around the wok. Mix in 1 teaspoon of oil before putting the chicken into the wok. This will avoid chicken sticking together. Lay the chicken evenly on the wok, not to touch it yet, and let it cook for about 30 seconds. Flip the chicken over or stir fry for a bit. If you feel the wok is getting dry, add in half to one teaspoon of oil. Continue to fry around three minutes till the chicken is cooked about 80%. Then set them aside. Clean the wok well. Then we may start frying the rice. Heat the wok until piping out again. Then turn the heat to medium low. Add in one tablespoon of oil. Add in garlic and white parts of the green onion. Fry for 5 to 10 seconds. Then add in our rice. Take your time to fry the rice and separate the rice by pressing down with the spatula. Try not to break the rice using the top of the spatula. It will create moisture. Keep pressing till you don't see any more chunks. To achieve perfection, Freshly steamed rice requires longer frying with more patience, adding an adequate amount of oil as you fry. Spread the rice to one side. Add in previously cooked eggs. Break them down using the spatula. Mix in the rice and fry evenly. Add the vegetables and fry. Add in the chicken. Stir fry a bit. Season with 1 teaspoon of oyster sauce. 
1 teaspoon of salt, optional of half teaspoon of chicken powder, half a teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of pepper. Now you can see how the rice is all cooked nicely and not sticky or greasy. One last touch is to add in our green onion. It'll give a good finish to our fried rice. Here you have it, a tender, flavorful chicken and egg fried rice you can easily make at home. I hope you enjoy watching my video today. Try this at home and let me know how it turns out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button for more delicious recipes. Thank you, see you next time.